Hey, it's Mark from Two Dog. Welcome to OpenTX. And I got a switch warning. I know. All right, I went flying with some guys, uh, some tiny whooping, and some of the guys are having a little bit trouble flying. And this were wondering if they could, if we could do anything to make it fly better. So. Uh, I worked on some stuff and I think this helped them. They th they said it did. So I'm going to show you guys. And this is for like if you're tiny whoop or you're brushless, little 65X or whatever. It's really hard to get that throttle just in the right spot. You tend to go up and down like a kangaroo uh, a lot. This will, this may help you. So go to your model. I'm just going to make a new model here. Make a new drone. And I just do this page, 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 page. One, two, three, four, there we go. Okay, so what you want, there's model 20. You can hit page, 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 and page, page, page. And you're gonna go to this curve spot. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna set up a custom curve. Okay, so we're just gonna hit enter here. This is curve one, see where it says there? That's how we know. We're gonna go down here, change the count, and this will work on just a little baby Free Sky Radios, those, uh, what's it called? The light, you can do it on there too. It's just different button pushes. But you can take this down to two points. And then this is gonna be this line, this button here. And we're gonna set that, I think I had it at around 40%, 40. So, so I put this one at 40. And if you're a beginner, this is what we did for one of the guys. And he, he seemed to like it. We put this, we capped it, I think it's 70. See where it's 70? So really what you're doing is you're cutting off your throttle at 70% of full throttle. So if you find that, it just, try this. If you don't like it, then what you can do is either raise this number to 80, 90, or 100% so you get full throttle, or bring it the other way. Okay. Then what we're going to do, we're going to take this and go up to 17 points. Come back to your points. 17. And then we're going to come to this first point right here. Now this one, you have to bring this one all the way down to zero. Otherwise, your quad won't arm. So what this point is telling me is when my throttle, throttle is at idle, then it's giving no input. And then what happens uh, when you come up to this second point, see how it jumps up? There's point one on your throttle. There's point two on your throttle right there. You basically taking away this dead zone so there there isn't much power in these little planes from here to here most of your power is like half to three quarters so this will kind of limit how, how much you're jerking around the throttle how much throw you need to get the, your ship to respond so now it's it's just a linear curve going straight up so what happens is when your throttle is at idle there's zero and then once you bring your throttle up just a little bit it's going to send a much higher throttle signal than normal. And then this, again, is going to cap off the end. Now, if you don't like this and you want to try a 70%, uh, then you can start all over and maybe a second curve and try 80%, 90%, or 100%. If you're a more advanced pilot, just keep it at 100. Instead of where I brought it down to 70, just bring it up to 100 and, and use that. But this, this part helps. This is going to give you more resolution where your throttle is. All right, so we're gonna, so this is curve one, we're gonna come out of here. And then we, oops. We can page through this again, page. Now when you come to the throttle here, on your mixer, hit enter, edit. And when you come down here, see our curve, diff. We're gonna change this with the, the enter key to curve custom CV1. Now what that's going to do is put the custom curve that we just made on your throttle channel. So that's how you do that. So see how this tops out? If you wanted to make it go to 100%, go to curve 2 again. So if you're more advanced, this is how I would set it up. This point, you got to take down again to about 40 or maybe even 50 if you wanted to. Or I mean, yeah actually 30 take it down to 30 so we're gonna go here and then here if you want more power out of it bring this all the way up to 100 
So now you're going to get the full uh, range. Bring your points up to 17. Come back. Oops. Enter. Now take this one. You got to take this down to zero. The first point has to be at zero. Otherwise, your quad's not going to arm. And now you've got curve two. And you can try that one. You can also flatten it out in the middle. So here's a here's half throttle. So sometimes some people put you could shallow these out, kind of make it flatter here. Uh, if you wanted to try that, it's going to give you more precise control in the middle. Like maybe this point, enter, oops, enter, bring it down two, bring this one down two, bring this one down two, bring this one down two. Bring this one down two. So it kind of flattens out there in the middle and then it'll sp speak right up. And that'll kind of give you more sensitivity right in that spot. But you can kind of fine tune that. And so that was curve two. So then you can hold on the page button and go back to throttle, edit. And if you wanted to use that one, you put curve two in there. Go flat, see which one you like. Uh, I've got more some more tips coming up. I'm gonna have some more flight one tips coming up shortly and I've got this torque frame that I haven't reviewed yet that will also be up on the channel. Thanks for watching.